Hey everyone, it's Cupquake, and today I decided to help you guys install mods. So, the very first thing you want to do when you're installing mods is you want to back up your world. So how do you do this? What you want to do is go to Start Menu, type in Run, and open App Data. So press OK. You're going to go into your roaming, and here is your .minecraft folder. So what you want to do is you want to copy this. Copy. And I like to make a a new folder for my backup. So this is a folder that I created. So let's go inside of it. I have a 1.5 backup and my 1.6 backup. So this is version 1.6. So we're just going to paste it in here. I already have one in here that I do not want to delete. So once you have done that, then your that is what people mean when they say backup your folder, backup your Minecraft jar folder. You you're protecting yourself when you do this cuz when you install mods there's you can make mistakes and you don't want to lose all of your hard work. So let's get to the mods. You can find the mods at uh, minecraftforums.net. Um, right now I'm already on, or you could even type in um, Mo Creatures Mod Minecraft and it'll come up in Google search. That's actually what I searched and I'm on the page. So to get the mod, you click this link right here and this will take you, let's open it in a new tab, this will take you to download the zip file but there's an advertisement on this page so wait till it passes and skip ad. Then you're going to click this and download the mod. Um, what I like to do with all of my mods is I like to create a folder for my mods. So I have a folder for my backup and I have a folder for Minecraft mods. So uh, we're going into 1.6 and I have my audio, my GUI, Mo Creatures, Mod Loader, and, mod loader and more Crypts and Weirdos. Um, in order for this to work, uh, you see this how to install more creatures mod. Show that. You have to download the GUI API and mod loader plus the audio mod enabled for this mod to work. So you can go ahead and click on these links, download these. Let me just show you where these are located. These two are on the same page. So mod loader is right here. Download this right there. And the audio mod is right here. So you can download it right here. Once you have everything downloaded, once you have um, your audio, GUI, mod loader, and the mods that you would like to install. They're all organized right here in this file. So these are all of your mods that you are going to install. So we can start installing now. All right, so I hope you guys are ready for this. It's really easy. <laughs> so go to Start Menu. You're going to locate your .minecraft folder again. So type in Run, App Data, and we are going into Roaming. And let's go ahead and go inside of our .minecraft folder. So, before you install the mods, you have to install Audio, GUI, and Mod Loader in, in order for them to work. So let's just go down the list. We're going to do Audio first. So we're going inside of the bin, and this is your Minecraft jar. You cannot double click on it because you will get a fail to load um, disclaimer. Press OK. You want to right click on this, and you want to open this with whatever program you wish, but I, I like to use WinRAR. So, Let's go ahead and, okay, we'll start with the audio, the audio mod. Let's double click into that. Grab all of the contents inside of here and just drag and drop. Press OK. So we're going to do the same for the GUI. Grab all of the contents, drag and drop. Okay, back. Mod loader. Grab all of these contents, drag and drop. Make sure when you drag and drop that you're dropping, um, all the contents down here, not up here where the files are, because you might mistake, you might make a mistake and put one inside of there, um, and that would be bad. So, since we have this this uh, WinRAR Minecraft jar open, click on the meta inf, and what you want to do with this is you want to delete it. Yes, delete it. Everything will be okay. Just as long as you, if you don't delete this folder, none of your mods will work. You'll always get a black screen. So make sure you don't forget to do that. That's an important step. Okay, once we've installed all of these uh, requirements, we can start installing the mod. So let's do more creeps. So let's um, let's back up to the Minecraft 
just the raw Minecraft file here. Let's go double click inside of the More Creeps mod that you downloaded and go to this text right here that says Read Me. So what you want to do is you want to read it. It will help you. There are directions on how to install it. So it says, let's read it, let's read along here together. Copy the contents of resources into your resource folder. So keep the directory structure intact. So here's the resource folder. And let's go into our resource folder, into our Minecraft folder here. And we are just going to drag and drop. There we go. Step one is done. Let's go back. What else does it say? Copy more creeps and weirdos.zip and more creeps.txt into your .minecraft mods folder. Do not unzip the file. So, you can see now we don't have a mods folder here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the more creeps text text and more creeps zip file and we're just going to drag them in here. So, we don't have a mods folder, but there's a quick and easy way to get one. All you have to do is just go to um, double click on your Minecraft. Come on. You can do it. Maybe, there we go. Alright. Double click onto your Minecraft. We're going to en enter a world. So, this is just a new world that I created for this. We just entered the world. There's no mods in here. So, we're going to save and quit. Make sure you close Minecraft fully. Go back into, uh, let's actually, yeah, here we go. We went back into our Minecraft, dot Minecraft folder, and surprisingly, a mods folder appears. So what you want to do is you just want to get more creeps and weirdos text and the zip file, and you just want to drag it inside there. Double check that it's in there. So don't unzip the file. It said do not unzip the file. So once you've done that, um, let's go back to the directions and see what they say. Um, so it tells you the spawn rates are changing from 0 to 12. Um, though your spawn rates can actually be changed if you go inside of mods and go into the more creeps text. You could change whatever you want to spawn here. So if you don't want robots, if you don't want giraffes, you know, just put it to 0. Um, what else do directions say? Do not forget to delete the meta imp folder. So we've already done that. Make sure you are running Rigazami's Mod Loader uh, mod, Audio Mod Shaka's Achievements tabs. All three needs to be running. So we don't have the Achievement tab running. Um, luckily, it's right here. So let's double click into there. Let's go outside of here. Let's go into our Minecraft jar. So we're going to open it up with WinRAR again. And we're going to get all of these achievement content and drag and drop. Sweet. So that should be done. So let this is something I like to do. I like to just double check that everything is working. So if if I get a black screen, I know where it came from. So we've only installed one mod. And that is more creeps and weirdos. So let's go into our world and see if we see any creeps or weirdos. Since the world is generating, um you may have to roam around, wait a while for it to load. Um, just walk around. Let's just walk around over here. See if we can see anything. Oh, I see a creeper. That is not part of the mod. Um, let's roam around on the beach here. Here we go. There's a sound. This world is barely coming to life, so it might may take a few few moments, a couple minutes to find actual mod. Oh, look at it. What do we have here? We have a goo goat. And that is from More Creeps and Weirdos. <laughs> so we know that More Creeps and Weirdos is working. Let's go ahead and save and quit. And we are going to install. We're gonna back out of this and we're gonna do more creatures now. So let's go back to the Minecraft and click on more creatures. And we will go to the README text to see what it says. How to install this. To install. Please install Mod Loader Audio Mod and GUI API first. We've already done that. Back up your Minecraft jar file. We've already done that. Locate your Minecraft folder. We have it right here. Copy the mocreatures.zip file inside of your .minecraft folder. 
Um, and it says to unzip the mole creatures file inside the folder. What I like to do is I just like to do the exact same thing that I did for um, more creeps and weirdos. So what I like to do is I go to the resources and I go inside of resources for mods and I just drag it in here. Yes. And then we go into mods and here is our more creatures zip file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just drag this zip file inside of mods. So you have mo creatures and more creeps and weirdos inside of your mod folder. Okay? So once that is done, that's all the directions say, right? Play, be aware of orcs, punch the sharks in the nose. If a little fish looks like a piranha, it's a piranha. Usually not very friendly. So let's go ahead, go inside of our Minecraft world. Check it out. Make sure we don't get a black screen. I think if we were to get a black screen, it would have already happened. Single player, installing mods. And let us go search. So we still have our logo from Morpheus so we know that one is still installed. Um, now we're just looking for life forms that come from mo creatures. So I know dolphins and sharks and horses, um, birds. What else is there? Oh, look! We have a school of sharks or dolphins. I don't know which it is, but my dog is barking and um, she probably wants to go outside. So, now that we know that both Mole Creeps and Weirdos and Mole Creatures works, we can go ahead, save and quit the file. I hope this helps you guys. Um, like I said, always look at the directions. Um, they are really explanatory. They help a lot. I hope this helps you guys. I hope you guys have fun with these mods because it really makes my world a better place.